NFT Market News The NFT market is an ever-changing maelstrom that continues to develop, making it difficult to remain up to speed on current issues, trends, and all the must-knows. Here's a recap of the previous week in the NFT business. Polygon announces the ZKEVM public testnet. On Monday, the blockchain development platform Polygon announced the debut of its ZKEVM public test, which seeks to deliver Ethereum with unlimited scalability, excellent security, and a familiar developer experience. Polygon claims to be the first to provide a full-featured, open-source version of ZKEVM. OV, Uniswap, and other DEFI platforms will be among the first to launch on the ZKEVM test, allowing them to run their decentralized applications on a bigger scale. Ethereum becomes deflationary. Ethereum is presently in an inverted predicament, as global financial institutions struggle with record high levels of inflation. According to data, the ETH supply has reduced by about 4,000 tokens since SEC, but this has not resulted in a price rise. In reality, Ethereum's value has dropped roughly 3.6% during the same time period, and it is currently worth $1,307 per token at the time of writing. The last bear market started in late December 2017, and the shift indicates the beginning of a deflationary run in which more ETH is lost than generated. Chronoswiss is developing the world's first NFT watch. Chronoswiss, a Swiss manufacturer of premium mechanical clocks, introduces a metaverse watch. The famed watchmakers take on the Web3 challenge with a unique and limited edition. There are 100 Open Gear Resec Sugar Rush digital watches that may be used in Decentral. There are eight distinct real-life variations of main editions. The famous watchmakers have created a completely unique experience by recreating the Chrono Swiss 8 layer in Decentral, mixing the actual world with the Web3 world. E-commerce companies are becoming interested in Web3. Customers may now purchase and sell NFT collections on the eBay website. The company has just bought Known Origin, a renowned NFT marketplace, solidifying its position as a market leader. On May 23, 2017, eBay collaborated with one of to offer the company's first collection of NFTs. Furthermore, NFT merchants may now sell directly to collectors via their Shopify stores, similar to how other companies utilize the platform. Furthermore, the Ottawa-based startup intends to make NFTs more accessible by accepting credit and debit card payments. Solana is confronting a new outbreak of malware. Recently, users of Solana's Phantom Wallet have been attacked by spyware that attempts to trick them into downloading an upgrade. According to reports, malicious actors are airdropping NFTs that replicate notifications for a new Phantom security upgrade. If the data-stealing software is deployed, it might lead to the theft of cryptocurrency wallet. Oxford University opens its doors to the Web3 globe. Oxford University hosted its first-ever OXBAT conference last week, formally opening its doors to the NFT ecosystem. The conference, which focused on the aesthetic, sociological, and anthropological elements of blockchain art, was unlike past crypto and NFT festivities. HODL t-shirts and impassioned lectures about how crypto would change the world were few and far between. In their place were instructive discussions on the artistry of NFTs, their social value, and how blockchain technology might be leveraged to develop new sorts of art. Sol's price continues to fall. At the time of publication, Solana's native currency has fallen 4.6% on the day to $31.36. Sol prices continue to fall as investors lose faith in this erstwhile crypto favorite. The asset is on the verge of falling out of the top 10 by market size, having dropped 88% from its all-time high of $260 in November. Increased cyber attacks and numerous network failures are surely not helping Solana. Kenyan company mines Bitcoin using spent energy. Gridless, a Kenyan Bitcoin mining business, has revealed that it is lowering energy bills for local communities by mining Bitcoin using extra produced power. The Gridless concept has the ability to decentralize Bitcoin mining while also shifting some hash power to Africa, which has been lauded by many. Secondary sales net NFT creators $1.8 billion. According to a study report issued today by Mike Novogratz's Galaxy Digital, the authors of Ethereum NFTs have collected $1.8 billion in royalties from secondary sales on markets such as OpenSea. Sal Kadir and Gabe Parker of Galaxy Digital observed in the analysis that NFT producers' royalty rates on OpenSea, the largest trading volume marketplace, have jumped by 100% in the last year, rising from 3% to 6%. The researchers observed that royalties are concentrated among 10 businesses. This data reveals that the NFT economy is more centralized than people may imagine. The top 10 received almost $500 million in royalty, 
accounting for around 27% of total Ethereum NFT royalties distributed. The research, which utilizes data from Flipside Crypto, claims that 482 collections garnered 80% of total market royalty money. The Power Ring makes its debut in the Web3 universe. Only Warner Bros. Discovery knows the real reason for their collaboration with Web3 startup Alluvia, but they have published The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring as a series of NFTs. WB Movieverse is still in its early stages, and the more you read about it, the less sense it makes. Warner Bros has announced that The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring Web 3 movie experience, directed by Peter Jackson, would be re-released via Alluvio's content blockchain. Alluvio CEO Michelle Munson said in a new statement regarding their collaboration that Warner Bro. Dedication to NFT initiatives is noteworthy and will help introduce films as NFTs to a wider audience. Following community input, OpenSea revises its NFT rarity ranking system. Some argue that rating NFTs by rarity on a marketplace might assist collectors make purchase choices, while others argue that it causes more damage than good. Many people have expressed their concerns about Open Rarity, the new protocol adopted by OpenSea. According to the community member, leaving the word rare out of the listing might be deceptive. The Open Rarity ranking system was enabled by the Moonbirds NFT collection. According to community users, this undermined the collection's market-driven rarity structure, turning every single NFT into a floor Moonbird. The NFT marketplace changed its rating algorithm a few days after collecting customer comments. Instead than merely rank, NFT listings now include rarity rank. Furthermore, the NFT marketplace has included a trait count into its ranking system and devised a mechanism to classify things with distinguishing characteristics before adding any additional information that might enhance their rating. OpenSea will begin introducing a rarity rating function for all qualifying collections across several chains on October 25th. The NFT marketplace decided to make this modification after getting repeated feedback from consumers requesting access. By allowing more collections access, the marketplace wants to entice more individuals to utilize its service. Cardano has reached a significant milestone. Cardano NFT initiatives have recently received a lot of attention. This might explain the massive growth in the amount of the Ape Society, Cardano's most ambitious NFT project based on the collection series. The Ape Society broke a new milestone today by hitting a 10,000 ADA floor price. This NFT project is a milestone not just for the NFT platform, but also for Cardano's NFTS library. In fact, no other collection has ever gotten close to the ADA maximum of 10,000. The floor price is the lowest price an NFT may have inside a certain collection. As a result, in the Ape Society's instance, 10,000 ADA would be the bare least you may spend on any of its NFTs. Although some are more expensive, such as the Ape Society's King Ford 1800000 ADA, the most will be at or around this price. How the Naked Web 3 ecosystem is making the world a better place. Few art topics are as old, enduring, and contentious as the naked female body. For thousands of years, art featuring naked women has not only functioned as a vector of creative expression but also as a reflection of society's views regarding women. The reflections in that mirror have not always been nice, and they often expose long-standing prejudices with which communities throughout the globe are currently battling. Since the beginning of 2022, there has been a significant growth in both interest and activity in the Web3 environment around nude art. Nude Yoga Girl, Isla El Mousa, Megan Batson, and Anita Sadoska are at the forefront of this trend. These artists are working to destigmatize women's bodies by using NFT markets and publicizing their work on Clubhouse and Twitter. As a result, they are making the world a more tolerant place for all women. CNN terminates its NFT program. Some believe that the current NFT gold rush is coming to an end. This summer, the popularity of NFT skyrocketed as people began purchasing NFT copies of anything from jokes and cartoons to serious artwork. However, the average retail price of an NFT has plummeted from $3,894 to $293 since May. Some of the most well-known brands in journalism recently began selling NFT copies of old news pieces and images, but those efforts have since been discontinued. CNN ended its NFT experiment. The Vault, last week, which offered digital assets such as news snippets, highlights, and historic events, including an NFT of its short-lived streaming service, CNN+. The suspension calls into doubt the viability of other new entrants into the NFT main, such as the associated press marketplace, which offers wire service award-winning images as NFTs. Well, Wright, the inventor of the famous game Sims, makes a comeback, but this time in the Web3 environment. Well, Wright, the game creator of SimCity, 
and the original Sims is returning in 2022 with an interesting new game called VOXverse. VOXverse is a social mining and construction game in which players interact as voxel-based characters. Within the game world, users will be able to buy and own property. Gallium Games, a firm dedicated to creating such games, created the blockchain game. The Vox characters at the center of this project, on the other hand, are not fresh inventions, rather, they are from an existing line of NFTs. This incorporates licensed illusions from popular culture, such as Trolls and The Walking Dead. Gala Games, which has invested $25 million in VOXverse, sells the Vox characters. As Aptos NFTs become available, many begin to doubt scalability promises. Aptos garnered mixed reactions after launching its main at this week amid considerable excitement. Some doubt if the network can live up to the $350 million in venture capital money it has received, while others highlight the success of its token airdrop to early adopters. While additional NFT initiatives are anticipated to emerge in the near future, previous NFT trading has stressed the Ethereum and Solana networks. How would Aptos fare if demand for its NFTs reaches current expectation? Aptos, which sprang from Facebook's abandoned Dean project, aimed to reach 160,000 transactions per second, much above the capacity of any existing Layer 1 blockchain. So yet, there is no proof that Aptos can meet such high technological demands. Aptos was only processing a few transactions per second when it began on Monday. The current figure is roughly 10 TPS. Write down below in the comments what is your strategy for the next few days. Click the card on the either left or right to get to more price prediction analysis and technical analysis. Also we present analysis on Terra Luna LUNC, Bitcoin and Bitcoin news today. We cover tickers, XRP, BTC, Cardano, ETH technical analysis and Shiba and Ucoin. Check our our playlists for the free technical analysis trading course.